Good morning, this is Dr. Kilgore from Dr. Kilgore's World with a flipped math learning video all about rounding decimal numbers. Now, decimal place value is a new skill to us, so we're going to work on identifying the decimal places and rounding to the appropriate place. So let's pull up the whiteboard and get started with some practice. Okay, so when we are rounding to decimal place values, there's a couple of steps that we're gonna do to help make sure that we understand the process that we're doing. So if our number is seven and 324 thousandths, and we want to round to the nearest tenth, we start by underlining the tenths place. That is the last place that can contain a digit in our final answer. So we make our number line. On our number line, we have to decide what are our options. So we know when rounding to the nearest tenths, this could stay seven and three tenths, or it could go up a tenth to seven and four tenths. So we set up our number line like this, and we look for our midpoint. Now remember if it helps you, you can put in that invisible zero so that you can see what the midpoint would be. So seven and 35 hundredths. And then we look at this number, seven and 324 thousandths. Well, to really compare, I'm going to need to see the thousandths place, so I'm going to add another invisible zero so I can see what's going on. So 324 thousandths would be less than 350 thousandths, about half. So this number would be right about here on our number line. So looking at it, it makes way more sense to round back to seven and three tenths. So our final answer, because we're rounding to the nearest tenth, we can only have a digit in the tenths place. These two zeros at the end, we have to drop them so that we are rounding it appropriately. So let's practice a couple of more before we move on today. Um, let's look at 13 and 700 or 75 hundredths, okay? We want to round to the nearest whole number. That would be the ones place. So we underline the ones place. We draw our number line. Let's look at our choices. We have 13, could be one option, or 14 would be our next option. We do halfway in the middle, that would be 13 and 5 tenths. We have 13 and 75 hundredths, so I can put in my invisible zero so I can see where it goes. Well, 75 hundredths is more than 50 hundredths. So that's going to go right about here on the number line. And I'm going to round up to 14. So that is approximately 14. Notice again that my ones place is the last digit. So I drop all of my decimal places behind it. Okay, so let's look at the number eight and 621 thousandths. I wanna to round to the nearest hundredth. That would be where the two is. So I draw my number line and I look at my options. Hundredth, so it can stay the same. Eight and 62 hundredths, or it could go up one eight and 63 hundredths. We've got to find halfway in between. So let's go ahead and put our invisible zeros in. 
621 thousandths. I've got 620 thousandths, and I know that's going to be one past it. So I'm going to round back, which would be 8 and 62 hundredths. Okay, let's look at one more practice problem here. 176 and 86 hundredths. We want to round to the nearest tenth. So tenths place is right here. We draw our number line. It can stay the same. 176 and 8 tenths. Or it could go up one. 176 and 9 tenths. Put in that invisible zero so that we can find our midpoint. 176 and 80 hundredths, or 176 and 90 hundredths. So 85 is going to be our midpoint, 85 hundredths. And we've got 176 and 86 hundredths, which means it's going to go right about here on our number line. We round to the nearest tenth, right here. We drop our zero, and our answer is 176 and 9 tenths. The one thing to remember is that we drop all of the zeros behind the place that we are rounding to. So I hope that this video has helped you with rounding decimal numbers. Um, you're gonna move on to your practice in class and have a good day.